Because Spongebob is one of the biggest names in animation, it's no surprise to see how excited people are for the upcoming third movie. It'll take the enthusiastic underwater sponge on a big screen adventure once again, as he journeys through fantastical lands. Unfortunately, it's going to be extremely hard to top the first movie, where Spongebob and Patrick had to save King Neptune's crown after it was stolen in his castle. Speaking of castles, let's talk about today's sponsor, Hustle Castle! And by the way, sponsors really do help out my channel, so you can support it by down downloading and playing the game. Oh hey, didn't see you there. I was just playing some Hustle Castle, the role-playing game where anyone can become the ruler of their own castle. It's pretty epic. Hustle Castle is a mobile game for iOS and Android, letting your imagination run wild in a fantastical world. You can manage buildings, go on missions, and become a king. Not only that, but there's opportunities for expanding and improving your castle so you defend it from other players, or maybe you can even go out and attack them instead. Personally, I'd call that one of the most fun aspects of the game so far. Hustle Castle's story is also pretty cool as you battle orcs, giants, and more to defeat the evil Abyss Lord. Also, the game's colorful characters look a lot like ones from Family Guys, so that's nice. By the way, my clan's name is Veilskibum94, so join it and we can play together. Let's go! I've been leveling up my castle a bit and it's definitely worth checking out. You can download it to become a true medieval ruler. Download Hustle Castle via my links below, enter your nickname, and get a special bonus for new players. 250 diamonds and 3500 gold! Okay, so even though the storyline surrounding King Neptune was god tier when we're talking Spongebob movies, we shouldn't immediately dismiss It's a Wonderful Sponge. There's definitely potential for a fun time to be had, but for today's video, I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at how it ruins some of the continuity in the series. Now, don't get me wrong, Spongebob is one of the worst examples of a cartoon with good continuity. I know Spongebob lore is one of the worst out there, but there's some established concrete events that happened before, which the third movie is about to challenge. Right now, we we don't know a whole lot about It's a Wonderful Sponge besides two main things. The fact that it's a Spongebob and Patrick adventure to Atlantic City to save Gary, and that we'll be seeing an origin story. Specifically, a place called Camp Coral where all our favorite characters meet. Wait, what? If you're a super fan of the series, you probably wouldn't recognize the name Camp Coral, and that makes sense because it literally doesn't exist in the world of Bikini Bottom. Well, there's Camp Spongebob, but that's a Ready to Read Level 2 book, and completely different. Not even gonna lie though, I loved reading this as a kid. By revealing that all our favorite characters met at a camp that previously never existed, the continuity behind the series is already gone and it's almost like we have to consider the movie non-canon. Hahaha, <laughs> third Spongebob movie, you think you can challenge me? The expert in all things Spongebob lore? Okay, I know analyzing continuity and lore in the show is a bit odd, but just for funsies, let's take a look at why this whole idea of Camp Coral is ruining what we know about the show's past. First of all, we literally see Spongebob Spongebob's very first interaction with Sandy. It's definitely not at Camp Coral, but it does happen near Jellyfish Field when he comes face to face with an exotic creature known as a land squirrel. They shake hands, and this is the first known time they've seen each other, explaining why they don't even know their names until this point. When and where exactly did Spongebob meet Patrick? Camp Coral is not where they met. In the classic episode The Secret Box, they were revealed to be best friends ever since they were born. Few things are concrete in the history of the series, but one thing we know is that these two go a long way back, and I mean longer than their lifespan so far. Anytime we see descendants of Spongebob and Patrick, they're always together. Squidward met the iconic Sponge when his pineapple dropped down from the sky one day, and there was no mention of a camp. All the characters meeting at Camp Coral for the first time? Yeah, no. I'll have you know I'm highly trained in the field of Spongebob lore, and I'm not afraid to use it in battle. Okay, seriously, I know it's really hard to establish an actual history for any of these characters, but to see the third movie just randomly give us a completely fake origin story is kind of annoying. Remember how everyone met as revealed in previous episodes? Well, you can just throw all that knowledge out the window because now people are going to look at It's a Wonderful Sponge and assume that's how it all went down. Some fans may even forget about the episode where Spongebob and Sandy literally meet for the first time on screen. Overall, I think there's only one thing we can do to accept this fake origin story. Let's assume that each episode and movie in the series takes place in a slightly parallel universe, hence explaining why so many things in the continuity are inconsistent. Camp Coral? Yeah, okay, I can admit that place is canon, but only in Spongebob Universe number 81P90. 
But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.